Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Thursday, August 22nd. A cool front is headed towards the Mid-Atlantic region. There have already been some scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning in the Mid-Atlantic region, and they will resume again this afternoon after a mainly dry period during the midday hours. This cool front will sweep off the East Coast early tomorrow, ushering in a very nice weekend for the Mid-Atlantic region with plenty of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday and comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. Let's take a look at the current radar loop. This is from the Penn State eWall site. Here's a batch of showers and thunderstorms just now nearing the New York City region. It passed through parts of southeastern Pennsylvania. Places like Bucks County received some shower and thunderstorm activity early this morning as some of that rain fell heavily at times. The southern part of New Jersey had some heavy showers and thunderstorms. Much of it to the south and west now has uh, fallen apart, but there will be a resum resumption of some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity this afternoon into the early evening hours, although much of the time will be rain-free today up and down the I-95 corridor. Well, here's a current surface map across the U.S., really two main players here as far as the northeastern part of the country are concerned, a cool frontal system sliding through the Great Lakes region right now and strong Canadian high pressure behind it. That high again will usher in another comfortable air mass for the Mid-Atlantic region for this time of the year. Humidity should lower during the day on Friday and then it should simply be spectacular for Saturday and Sunday up and down the I-95 car throughout the Midwest, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic region. Plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday with comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. It'll start to warm up somewhat early next week and we'll have an increasing chance of showers and thunderstorms again by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Here's a nationwide look at the latest infrared satellite imagery loop from the uh, SSEC Wisconsin website. A couple of areas of interest here. Here's a pocket of showers and thunderstorms right along the mid-Atlantic coast right now, well ahead of the cool front. Cool front lies across this region right here, across the Great Lakes. Kind of an enhanced area of heavy showers and thunderstorms over the uh, upper part of the Midwest right now as low pressure has formed along that frontal system. But this entire front is headed towards the east coast. Again, we'll cause some scattered showers and thunderstorms for this afternoon and evening in the I-95 corridor, although much of today will be rain-free. Now, any rain that does fall can come down heavily for a brief period of time this morning as well as this afternoon and this evening. All of this sweeps off the east coast during the day on Friday, paving the way for a very nice weekend here in the mid-Atlantic region. Some typical monsoonal type moisture flowing over the southern Rockies. They'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms for the next several days in the southern Rockies and pretty uh, 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 warm pattern also setting up there with high temperatures in Denver, for example, in the upper 80s for the most part over the next several days. Still cool right along the west coast. They'll start to warm up uh, uh, along the coastal regions by the early part of next week. Well, let's take a look at a few computer forecast maps for the upcoming time period. We'll begin with this evening's forecast map from last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. Then we'll look at 12-hour increments right into Saturday morning. By this evening, that cool frontal system will be approaching the east coast right here. Scattered showers and thunderstorms up and down the east coast. Again, lots of rain-free time today, but also some of the rain that does fall can come down heavily for brief periods of time. Here's just a large Canadian high-pressure system moving over the Great Lakes region on its way to the northeastern part of the country for the upcoming weekend. Here's the forecast map for tomorrow morning, Friday morning. That front just uh, moves off the east coast. There could be a few lingering clouds in parts of the Mid-Atlantic region, maybe even a morning shower or thunderstorm. But for the most part, it'll be an improving weather pattern on Friday, increasing amounts of sunshine and decreasing amounts of humidity as that high edges closer and closer to the northeastern part of the country on the day Friday. And here, excuse me, here's the forecast map for Friday evening. High pressure centered over the Great Lakes, influencing pretty much the entire mid-Atlantic and uh, northeastern part of the country by this time. Still a little bit of residual moisture down, let's say, across D.C. and points south and east. Uh, if there is, in, in fact, some lingering clouds and uh, moisture tomorrow, it'll uh, get out of here in time for the weekend. In fact, let's jump ahead to the Saturday morning forecast map. 
And here it is for Saturday morning. High pressure moves right over the northeastern part of the country. Uh, this is a Canadian-born high pressure. It started from the southwestern part of Canada way up here and gradually moves to the south and east over the next couple of days. Center right on top of the mid-Atlantic region for the weekend. It looks like a spectacular weekend with plenty of sunshine both days, Saturday and Sunday, and comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.